In this series, we're on an exciting journey looking for the very best interior design projects from around the country. Welcome to Australia by Design Interiors. We've gathered our panel of design industry leaders at Top 3 by Design in Sydney to find out which projects will make it through to our series final. Around the table, we've got some of the best expertise in Australia from interior design practices through to specifiers providing product that complete that special project. This next project is Six Head Restaurant in the Rocks in Sydney. I love how history has really informed the design. This is a wonderfully preserved, historic, open warehouse that doesn't take away from the beauty of the harbour. Six Head Restaurant is the newest arrival here at the Rocks. And when you experience the silent design I'm about to share with you, you'll understand why Sydney is about to be seduced. Kelly, I love this, this entrance. I mean, it, it really is quite dramatic. Why the six cow heads? So it goes back to the first fleet that uh, arrived here in 1788. And along the way, they picked up four cows and two bulls. And those are the first cows to ever uh, come to Australia. And um, a convict was asked to look after them. He didn't during the lunch break. They wandered off, never to be found again, and uh, discovered eight years later in our wild and numbering 100, and that saved that first colony from starvation. We got to learn about Dion Horstman. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's quite a famous uh, sculptor, and the way that they turn out and kind of float within the space is magnificent. With all this heritage, it must have been super tough to install all of this beauty when really you're not allowed to touch the walls at all. So the building was built between 1850 and 1860. Nothing's plumb, uh, things are out quite quite a lot when you start measuring it up. The rope came about really out of necessity um, in that when we started taking the finishes off the walls, it started breaking up the sandstone. And so the heritage architect stopped us from taking it off. Mm. And so we needed to find a solution to kind of screen it because it was uh, very uh, jarring to this side of the building. So we conceptualized the idea and then found an artist by the name of Melissa Carey. And yes. she is Wonderful to work with, it's spectacular. We yes. love the outcome. So the lobby is quite an entrance statement and again we're celebrating all this beautiful historic sandstone. Yeah, so this, in this particular case the issue was that we were not allowed to go into the wall with the back bar and um, so we set it off by 100 mil but used the opportunity as a set off to get a lot of light in and the distance allowed you to light up all the sandstones to get a very beautiful warm glow at night, which yeah. wouldn't have been possible otherwise. There was no need for a bar top where you can put your legs under. And so we used the opportunity to carve a bar out of one big piece of wood. This echoes, the shape echoes the columns. It's exactly the same chamfer, oh, exactly see. the same dimension. You won't pick up that it's there, but subliminally you are aware that things are in tune. It's one piece of music. So there's a lot to think about. People don't go to a restaurant just to have a meal. They go to, to kind of socialise, have a great experience. If it was about eating, they'd eat at home. Uh, or Uber Eats, or, and, but it's not about that. They, 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 so if you design a restaurant well, you want to think about where people will be placed, um, how spontaneously they could potentially have the chance encounter with, mm. with somebody else. You know, you've had to distance these things just far enough apart so that they can have a private conversation, yeah. but close enough together to get your chance encounter. Like a great piece of music. There's a difference between somebody playing with sensitivity and the silence between the notes that makes for music to be either brilliant or just pedestrian. And if you're able to get the silence between the notes correct, you get the rhythm correct. And great design is exactly like that. It's the silence between the notes. Not everything's there to be a euro and to be loud. Some pieces are there just to be silent and in the background and support. When we head out for dinner and great food is combined with a beautiful environment, it's a wonderful experience but that doesn't happen by accident. Callie and his team have given deep, considered thought to the design here. 
which means you're instantly comfortable, whether you're sitting here, 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 or here, meaning you're relaxed and enjoying your meal before the food has even arrived. And whilst most of the customers won't even notice half of the design work that's been done here, they will be luxuriating in it nevertheless. Look, I'm not surprised this one has been voted into the final. It has a lot of texture, a lot of colour, a lot of life. A great example of Australian design. Well, we're four projects down and six to go before we have our final top ten. Join us next week as we continue our search for Australia's best interior design.